Halo, halo. Ya, Pak Ingin. Halo. Halo, Suhei. Hai, Mr. Ben. Halo, halo. Halo. This week we learned. Okay, while well, waiting for a little bit more eyeballs. Yeah. There are six so, eyeballs here. So me a Ten little two, bit I got more. two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you are here. You just plus one or give us an I love icon or share this for us. Today we're going to talk a lot back. more about the couple tunnel syndrome and much mm. more tips for self-help. Okay. Yep. So Ken, do you want to tips, tips? I think you are like tips, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, so uh, our, during our previous life, during our previous life, I think we talked about what is couple tunnel syndrome, right? So couple yes. tunnel syndrome basically is a uh, tightness of the forearm muscles over use yes, forearm and thumb muscle and Suhoi, yeah and the thumb muscle so Suhoi, it does it happen in a male or female or ladies i, I remember it happened in a female female right? more 80 percent right? 82 percent yeah 80 percent yeah 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 and then because of the tightness of all of these muscles then it's causing inflammation and then do you remember how many fingers or not normally have? And I how think many fingers? Is it three five? and a half? Is it three and a half? Yes, yes very and good. Half. Three and a half, like this. Okay. So the symptoms you'll feel like the three and a half. So how do you test? Remember or not? I think it's like <laughs> this is like a test for Suhui. <laughs> yeah, you are testing Suhui. Yeah. yeah. So so for what I remember. <laughs> so like, last, okay. last week we actually yeah, last week we actually talk about the self-visual examination, right? Physical examination is the thinner mm. test. And what like, yeah. is not like this, but like this. That's the Fallon test. Then the thinner test, test, remember we talked about the depression okay. near your this, wrist. Yeah. The depression where you tap at the, the depression. Then we tap on it. Yeah. Yeah. Then you feel then you feel the uh, numbness. The shooting Tingling, around shooting. the three finger. Yeah, towards your three fingers. So yes. uh, as uh, as we talked uh during our previous session or so we mentioned if you feel it at all five fingers, it is more a big possibility it is not coming from the forearm, it is possibly coming from the neck. Entire nerve. And yes. it comes with other symptoms. Yes, entire nerve yes. and also uh you uh, wake when you wake up you have a morning stiffness yes which is norm which is normally not present in the typical cts or carpal tunnel syndrome yes, yes. so i think that someone commented right that if he has a uh, five fingers tips numbness mm. yeah some someone comment uh, commented and asked about it all five the day, I think we got someone right who commented five fingers tips uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the numbness. So we asked him yeah, yeah, to yeah. come come today. Oh yes, I see. Yes, I so see. we asked them to come to we asked him to come today. Like, hopefully today, because today we will be giving him the answer why he has the five <laughs> five fingers tips <laughs> numbness. Yes, I see. Yeah. I see. All so right. again, uh, to great. all the audience, to all the audience, if you have know that your friends who are female, high percent high high possibility. And then uh clerical work, healthcare work like us. All right, do tag them, okay, so that they know how to protect mm -hmm. themselves. Yes, today we're gonna to give out five tips, mm -hmm. okay, how to cure a your lot of clerical work, work, housewives. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, a lot of mouse work, and then we mentioned like big mouse or small mouse. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, big mouse or okay. small mouse, yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And All right. today, yep, today we're also going to give out the uh Peskindo gel. Yes, right. The skin so gel, you blue color. have to pick three friends, okay? Like the same thing, and stay tuned at the end, and uh, we'll be asking questions. Okay? Yes. So that day, the okay. question was how many fingers, right? Yes. <laughs> so today, three the and a... yeah. <laughs> today the right. question is three and a half. <laughs> later, later, stay tuned. So you have later, to wait all the way until the tuned. end, okay? Yeah. Okay. So shall we start? Sure. Okay. okay. So yeah. same okay. thing. Today we're going to talk about carpal tunnel syndrome reason is a part of the inflammation in the body okay so and mm -hmm. in this inflammation is an acute inflammation in the body why we say acute because it can happen now 
Okay, now for some people, it has been there for six months, one year, and they leave it, keep on having the numbness. Okay, one reason, it could be an acute inflammation on a chronic problem. That means it's a keep on having this acute inflammation, but on a chronic problem, or you are treating wrongly. It is not a couple tunnels. Okay, so today we are going to teach you how to see if it is a couple tunnel or it is not a couple tunnel syndrome. All right, so I try to make ourselves clear. Huh? Okay, all right. So um, we go back. Okay, next slide. So next slide, this first slide is talking about um, research, okay, about this carpal tunnel. Now, the summary of this carpal tunnel, again, it tells that your carpal tunnel syndrome, which you have a three and a half fingers numbness, right, sometimes may not necessarily is a carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay, so from this research, uh, it's written there really very clear. All right, your carpal tunnel syndrome may not necessarily just carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay, and it could be because of your neck problem. All right. Neck. Okay. Then uh, another another research another research also says that you have numbness, but eighty percent of your numbness is not necessary carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay. So that's why we 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 pointed out numbness of three fingers and numbness on the pins and needles, morning stiffness. They are different. All right. You have to very very precise to tell because why. Wrong treatment, uh, wrong diagnosis, wrong treatment, no? correct or not? Here, Sala, mm -hmm. but I treated somewhere else, so I don't get the thing, no? okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is another research in 1999, okay? And then, um, okay, so next slide. So, today's main topic, okay, what caused hand numbness? Last visit or last uh, live, we talked about carpal tunnel already, which is the three and a half finger. Now, today we're going to talk about slightly bigger nerve. Okay, median nerve, we call it median nerve, the one highlighted in red. Okay, the highlighted in red and slightly capital one. Okay, median nerve. Median nerve partially also grows to our carpal tunnel. Okay, but today we're going to study the entire median nerve, this entire wire. Okay, carpal tunnel mm -hmm. we have done already. Yeah, the first part. So those who are interested, right, can download from our website, can download from our YouTube, uh, can subscribe our Ben Physio YouTube. And today we're going to talk about median nerve, big chunk of the nerve. Okay, bigger, bigger wire. Okay, so today we have BNB. Okay, so next. Okay, so to test this nerve, this big chunk of nerve, we need a, we need a bigger apparatus or bigger way. Okay, to test it. All right, now very physio, it is so important. Uh, to know if you are having uh, if you're having CTS or not having CTS, now it is very important. Okay, now everyone, if you are in the in front of the in front of the screen looking at me, now let's try this. Huh? we call it upper limb tension test (ULTT). Okay, number one, yes, position a uh, lotus <laughs> position, but not in front of the face, not in front of the face. Okay, just away from your arm. Just okay. away from your arm. Okay, lotus, like as if, as if you are carrying something on your palm. Your palm is facing mm -hmm. the floor of uh, the ceiling. Your palm is fo mm -hmm. facing the ceiling. Okay? Now, your palm is point, uh, facing the ceiling and you just part your arm. Okay? Stay there for a while. to nurse or in your fingers or in your forearm or anywhere. If yes, that means your ULTT test is positive. Okay, nowadays uh, when you say a uh, positive test, uh, well, very scary one. Uh, <laughs> both positive, you're so scared. Okay, so now ULTT positive. Uh, later we will tell you why. Okay, but in this test, if you just position yourself into the lotus as if something is on your palm and you do feel some uh, discomfort, some pulling, some tingling, some shooting, you are considered as a ULTT positive. Okay, guys, this is flat, huh? flat, and then lotus palm. All right, now if you are negative, that means you have those, don't have those symptoms, very good, you are slightly healthier. Now, next, maintain the wrist, maintain the wrist. slowly extend your elbow to make it straight. Okay, without moving other parts of the shoulder, okay, maintain the wrist and slowly extend your elbow until it is straightened okay now best ideally right you extend your elbow all the way through 
All right, now I can tell you, uh, now when I come to this angle, I start to feel something in my wrist already, uh, sorry, in my fingers yeah, already, oh. at this angle. All right, mm. so this is called positive. Yeah, okay, so I repeat, so everything flat, and palm facing ceiling like a lotus. All right, now slowly extend your elbow, extend your elbow until you feel something, some pulling sensation, some tingle sensation, some ends crawling over sensation. All right, that says that you are URTT positive. All right, am I clear? Okay, so yes, now this yes. is a simple test, okay, that you can test to test your median nerve. Okay, to test your median nerve. Um, Shuhei can go back to the previous slide. Okay. Ah, okay. So guys, today we're talking about hand numbness. Possible hand numbness, there are many, but we will you on the first of two, which is carpal tunnel syndrome and median nerve. All right, carpal tunnel we have okay. Today we talk about median nerve, which is a bigger chunk of the nerve come up from the neck all the way down to the hand. Mm. Okay, so this slide, next slide, URTT is teaching you how to self-test. So how to self-test. Okay, so those who miss or those who come, just come in. Okay, go and repeat, uh, go and play, play uh, with our life. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ben, Mr. Ben. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think someone just commented. Uh, okay, next. Viv Vivian uh. Liao and also Liz Grace said that they feel pulling uh, uh Liz Grace commented that she feels something at the back of the palm of her palm. I think when she's oh, doing something the, at the yes. back of the palm. Uh, of the palm. Okay, now this one is uh this one is a wrist problem. Uh. This one is a wrist problem. We call it wrist extension problem. Okay, now um this is not a test. This is not saying that your test is positive on your TT. All right, this is just telling you that your wrist is in problem. Okay, no, so I will assume she always have some pain, right? If she put her hand into this angle, always, always bearing. Huh? Be careful. Like this, right? Like push up. Okay. So we don't call your TT test positive. It's still considered as negative. Positive means when you feel the discomfort, okay? You feel some pulling. Yeah, yeah, push up, yes. Also, positive means uh, when you have discomfort pulling or some needles, pins, needles, ends crawling over your palm. Uh, that's considered as positive. All right. If you have the nothing here, it's not positive yet. All right. Oh, can disappear already. <laughs> but I think one thing okay, that next slide, uh, please. like positive is you have to feel from it's like shooting down, right? And if you want to make it, it could be just somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Maybe. So if you want to make it yeah, uh, more, here. maybe you can slide to the opposite yeah. side. Possible? Okay, so this is what we call uh, you stretch your neck. You, you stretch your open up your neck. Yes, possible. This one we will teach up the playing, we call it playing. Yes. All right. So your TT test does not mean that uh, only here. Okay. Now some people they say, oh, when I do this right, I feel it around my chest. Six to consider as if you still call it a positive test. I still call it a positive test. Okay. Hi. Hi, Ken. Welcome Hi. back. Hi. Hi. Sorry. 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 My okay. connection. So a next bit. slide. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. The wiring problem. Nerve problem. Mm. In, in nerve, internet, problem. nerve problem. <laughs> <laughs> but internet one, it's not your not, not your nerve, internet outside, one. Outside, outside, All right, actually, wire you problem. see uh, everyone. Uh, actually, you see a uh, nerve right in yellow color. Correct or not? Actually, it's like our wire. It's like our wire. Okay, mm -hmm. now if you look at a nice house, right? Normally, do will you see their wire? You won't see their wire, isn't it? Where uh, where is their where are their wire? Oh, they hidden. will plant it inside the wall. They will oh. hidden it inside the ceiling. Correct or not? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that outside you yeah. see nice, right? Now, same thing to our body. Do you see the wire or the nerve? No, right? So where does, where's the nerve? Actually, the nerve, now you look at the picture here. All right. The nerve runs inside along your muscles. Okay. It runs inside along your muscles. Now, this is the test, URTT test, if it is positive. So what does it tell you? 
Now, for a band physio staff, okay, for our physiotherapist, it's a very important clue. Why? Because we know where your muscle, we know where is your power supply, main nerve, main muscle, uh, main nerve, and we know where your, your nerve ends. We, ne we know where your wire connect to. Okay? So we trace. So as a physio, we will trace your nerve all the way from the neck to your fingers. Because why? Every part also got the chances to have problems. Okay? Now, when the muscles along the nerve uh, got problem, what will happen to your hand? You will have numbness. You get what I mean? Repeat, huh? so, yeah, Mr. Ben. If your URTG test is positive, that means what? Along your nerve. Ah, yes? Uh, Liz Grace uh, asks, uh, is it possible that it's her joints head. are weak? Because she mentioned that the back of uh, no, the arm... No, that one is a, a forearm problem, whereby her forearm mm. muscles are a little bit tight already. Yes. Mm. Yes, there's a wrist extension pain, so it's a four muscle tightness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so now I repeat okay. for my this URT test positive. All right, so if it's positive, that means what? From the neck to the fingers, someone has to help you to trace where is the part that there is the compression. It's very important to find the compression. Otherwise, again, no, you don't find the spot, you don't treat the spot. Okay, mm -hmm. so this the spot. That's why it will explain why some carpal tunnel syndrome can last for one year, two years. They are as in, okay? So one year, two years. Or some people bicycle, bicycle half an hour, one hour, two hours, three minutes. Why? So all this is a high possibility of a median nerve problem. Okay? So, can I? Yeah. Okay, now, next slide. So if you look at me, today I again, I bring my nerve out. Huh? There, my nerve. <laughs> All right, I think my friends don't know how which slide, which slide I brought my nerve. So today I brought my nerve again. They were C5. Okay, now, C5. yellow color always mm. indicates nerve. Yellow color. Can mm. yellow color? Yes. Yes. C5 and C6 syndrome. Okay, again, I put my tie on. So my nerve is come out from my neck. Okay, my nerve come out from my neck. Okay, come out from my neck. Now, if you all... Ah, so wait, you have to go back to the previous slide. Eh? Previous okay. slide. So my nerve come out from my neck. Okay, it runs through. Sorry. This one, is it? Can I? Okay, mm -hmm. so it runs through my collarbone. Okay, it runs through my collarbone it, via through my chest muscle underneath my armpit okay and it runs all the way to my fingers see okay so now any chances if there's a compression tanarunto here tanarunto here tanarunto here what happened to my cable yeah okay it will compress yes okay it will compress what happened to my internet now over here you will become lag no power supply correct or not wiring affected ma yeah, right. yeah. So as a mechanic, biomechanic seafood, oh, as a biomechanic seafood, what should I do? Check where is the tunnel window, right? Where, check where is the lens yeah. light or check where is compression. Okay, now, who caused the compression? All the surrounding muscles. Okay, so now from this slide, you can see who caused the compression. It can from your neck, it can be from your chest muscles. All right, because you see how the yellow color runs, it's all I'm embedded under your uh, neck muscles and your chest muscle. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then your next slide. So next slide is where your nerve comes down from your armpit all the way through your biceps muscle. Alright? So therefore, if your biceps muscles too big, okay, papai, papai muscles too big, you also <laughs> will easily have nerve compression because your papai little mouse compress on your nerve. Compress. Yes, mm. compress another lens slide there or cause some compression on the nerve. Okay? And then now you look at the, another slide, the third slide. So the nerve come out from the biceps of the little mouse, papai mouse, uh, papai mouse, but papai muscle, okay? Go into your forearm. Now, along your forearm muscles, it ha also has chances to compress on your nerve. Okay? So any, any point from the neck, from the chest, from the biceps, from your armpit, 
Okay, but smelly and pit no lah. Huh? Smelly and pit won't compress nerve. Okay, but muscle stiffness and pit yes, and then it will give all this. Okay, mm. this one, if I want to treat your hand numbness, do I work on your forearm only? The answer no. is no. Go into your neck, go all the way down. Okay, I need to treat this. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So this is how precise we are. Okay. So again, some people will tell me, oh, my MRI says I got a compression on the neck. Sometimes I will say, not necessary. Why? I check your nerve. I check your nerve. I check your neck compression. Hey, the answer is negative. Ah, okay. Then I will check again. Hey, where is the compression? Hey, maybe it's a chest. Maybe it's a biceps. Right? Nerve compression is an entire nerve. It's not about the neck and the hand only. Good? And yeah. I, so clear. today our yeah. topic is about carpal tunnel. But we are talking about bigger nerve. The nerve we call it median nerve, uh, which also can lead to hand numbness. All right. And then this hand numbness may not only three fingers, it could be five fingers. All right, five tips or morning stiffness. A lot of people like to ask me, hey, when my morning when I wake up, right? And when I wake up, my first thing is I can't feel my hand. Okay, I have to move a little bit, maybe five minutes, hey. The blood circulation come back. My hand is all right, like disappear already after a sleep. Okay, so mm -hmm. all this the side of median compression. Huh? All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Next. So same thing. We found already. There's enough compression along your median nerve. Median nerve. So how we want to treat it? Okay. How? We we want to treat it. So my next slide will be talking about the treatment. Okay, treatment. So, hey, uh, should we treatment, please? This is it. Okay. Um, okay, so one of the treatment that normally use uh, is a couple tunnel release, which they did the operation around here. Hey, one slide before. Should we one slide before? Yeah, couple tunnel. Okay, so they will do a couple surgical release. Okay, surgical. but in this study, right? Hey, show me one slide before. Okay. I know. Go back. Go back. Ah, yes. Yes. Okay. Now in this study, right? This is a study a research, right? So they commented one thing: the minimum follow-up period of three months was not long enough. Okay, for all the couple tunnel release, CTI is couple tunnel release. Okay. This is a researcher, is a published research. What is this sentence means? Okay, anyone who go through carpal tunnel syndrome with uh, uh, surgery, really? all right, even though three months later you say you are good, even though three months later you say you are good, it does not prove that your carpal tunnel syndrome won't come back. Okay, so I have treated carpal tunnel syndrome with operation, all right, it comes back five, seven years later. Okay, so that's why in this research it commented that if you follow up your patients for carpal tunnel and surgery, three months is never enough. Three months is never enough because the recurrent does not happen within three months. The recurrent happens way longer, five to seven years later. All right. So, yeah. okay, next. Yeah, Mr. Ben, someone asked, right? You so now we want to... Okay, what does a band physio does? Uh, and what do uh, other conventional... Ah. Yeah, uh, just one question. You from asked about uh, there's a similar condition called pornatus yes. I can't hear you, mm -hmm. Sui. Yeah, there's one of the comment talking about uh, there's a similar condition called pernatal teres syndrome. So can we differentiate both of these conditions? I think Mr. Ben is having nerve. Wait, uh, sorry, sorry, I can't hear you clearly though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me, Mr. Ben? Okay, Shu Hui, never mind. I can't hear you clearly. Okay. Uh, your sound still breaking. Your sound still breaking. Uh, Mr. Ben, okay. Uh, I think. Uh, okay. I read out the question for you. Can you hear me? Ah, uh, yes. Can I can hear you? 
All right, so uh, one of uh, our live audience uh, called Layu Feng, she asked there's a similar condition uh, called pronator teres syndrome. Can uh, we differentiate both of these conditions? Yes. Can we differentiate? Mm, pronator teres syndrome. She, she mean, okay. Okay. Pronator, okay, if you know right, now again, we go back, I go back to my nerve. Huh? So if you know right, med, median nerve also run underneath the uh, medial epicondyle, which is the this uh, medial bony, right? And it runs before it passes to your carpal tunnel. Before it passes to your carpal tunnel, it will run through your forearm muscles as well. Now, if you all remember, right, last visit where we talk about forearm muscles, Okay, we stretch the all four fingers, right? We stretch the forearm muscle. Mm -hmm. Now, this so-called forearm muscle, right? One of the answer, or one of the muscles that is uh, comprises of uh, pronator teres, pronator teres. Okay, you get what I mean. So, therefore, mm -hmm. in another way, now pronator teres has possible chance to compress on your median nerve as well. So she is correct. Mm -hmm. Pronator teres syndrome. Now, again, uh, let's go back, right? why this condition we call it syndrome okay why couple tunnel we call it syndrome why parental terrace we call it syndrome what is syndrome syndrome is a presentation it is a manifestation it does not tell you what's wrong with you ah okay so median nerve compression is not a syndrome it is a confirmed median nerve compression but parental theory syndrome is just a syndrome all right as i said no Nerve, you have mean uh, pins and needles. And at that time, maybe your clinician or your doctor or your physio managed to find out that hey, you have pronator teres tightness. So therefore, they link it with pronator teres causing the numbness and they call it pronator teres syndrome. But do you end here? No. Median nerves come from where? From the neck all the way down. It could be also your biceps. Okay, biceps also can be compressing. Your armpit also can be compressing. And your neck also can be compressing. Okay, so pronator teres syndrome is just a small syndrome that explains you may have hand numbness. But is it only pronator teres giving you problem? So actually, as, as we know, right, there are four big muscles here. Of course, pronator teres is one of it. Okay, there's another one we call a radiculus, a bracket, a radical, radical muscle, a common flexor radical muscle. Also, and it's also very close to our median nerve, which is our uh, ulnar nerve. Yeah, okay. Oh, so hope I answered Okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right, thank okay. you, Mr. Bear. I think there's another question from another audience called Chan Suk Yin, yeah? Ah, yes. So uh, she's uh, asking, both of my hands are numb and stiff when I wake up in the morning. My right thumb is the most affected. Doctors yes. say I have trigger thumb, cannot mm. bend my thumb or mm. grip my pen. It's been mm. one and a half months already. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. You see, yeah, from, her, from her whole sentence, right? Actually, she has two problems. Mm. Okay. Now, this is a common problem that a doctor or a clinical clinician or even physiotherapist made. My patients comes in and say, oh, I have hand numbness, five fingers, okay, and the worst is the thumb. So everyone forgot and everyone just keep on zoom into the thumb only. All right, but everyone forgot already. What else her other complaint? She has hand numbness in the morning or hand stiffness in the morning. Mm, okay? Numb and so stiffness. Yes. So in this case, generally her whole statement, right? One sentence, there are two complaints. Complaint number one, she has hand numbness, uh, hand stiffness in the morning. Okay. Complaint number two, she has had thumb, especially more numb and thumb cannot fold, cannot extend, right? Okay. Now, mm. actually, for me, there is a third complaint. Her third complaint is she is having two hand stiffness. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So she has three problems generally. This is how I analyze my patients' uh, complaint. Complaint number one, she has morning stiffness. Complaint number two, she has thumb more numbness and thumb cannot bend, cannot extend. And complaint number three, she has two hands stiffness in the morning. Okay, now we go back one by one. Now complaint number one, hand numbness. Where is your problem? Median nerve, nah, my yellow nerve. Okay, so this case, I have to check from the neck all the way until the fingers okay complaint number two she has a thumb problem yes she, she is correct her doctor is correct she may have trigger finger all right but don't forget she may also have mother's thumb this mother's mm. thumb also can give you 
hand numbness because of the, the, the nerve distribution around here. All right. And thirdly, she has two hands numbness. We call it central problem, systematic system problem, central systematic problem. That means what? She is having cervical neck problem. That's why mm -hmm. yellow, she has two yellow problem instead both of white. Sides, huh? Yeah, she has both sides. Okay. So she has hand mm -hmm. problem as well as neck problem. Yep. Okay. So I hope okay. I have a question. So again, oh, so today she is here, just nice. This is the topic for her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, topic we managed to answer your question, yeah? Yes. Okay, uh, then Mr. Ben, there's another question today from okay. Jenny Chin. Uh, I can't clench my fist in the morning. Is it the yeah. same? Okay, okay. When we talk about morning stiffness, right? There are many types. Now, some people can't even feel their hand. Okay, now this morning I treated another case and I think Shuhui saw with me. Why it was her complaint? She feel cold. The can't feel, feel her. cold. Can't feel her. Okay, finger. so I have another case. So she feels the whole head so weak. So weak. Yes, yeah, she can't feel her She feels like her hand, her hand dropped somewhere else when she woke yeah. up. Okay, so there are some cases um, they can't make a full grip. Okay. Some cases they feel uh, all these are indicating median nerve compression. Okay. Okay. So I'm back. Uh, okay, so to our live audience, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, okay, hope we managed yeah, to answer your question. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so next slide. Okay, this slide convention. Okay, now we're going to compare what is a convention physio treatment as well as what is a convention, um, uh, what is a band physio treatment. Now, convention treatment on median nerve again, if we misdiagnose as carpal tunnel. Our treatment always on the wrist only. Okay? But in band physio, we will not look into your wrist only. Huh? That's why your sentence of complaint, uh, we call it subjective history, right? Sentence of complaint from patient, very important. Uh, this is uh, why I always tell my patients, uh, hey, if you have anything, just tell me. Whether I can treat or cannot treat, never mind, just tell me. Why? Because everything that you tell me is a clue of what's wrong with you. Ah, okay. Sometimes for you, it's small matter, right? Sometimes for patients, Ayo, I feel so mad, small matter, I don't want to tell, but you are wrong. The small matter helps us to tell you more. Okay? Now, so the conventional normally is a direct treatment. And secondly, conventional will involve a lot of exercise, okay, to build your forearm muscles. Exercise like gripping, la, uh, rinsing, la, all these things, which normally you hardly do nowadays. Because we believe um, your routines has, um, has, 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 use a lot of your forearm muscles okay it's not that great okay to exercise the forearm muscles to build the to build the muscles more compressed okay so therefore we change okay our method of a physio all right so how do we change come next so this is my common question should i see physio on my day one okay of course correct or not yes. Yes. yes of course yes absolutely Yes, the moment you felt your hand is not right, something is wrong. Come. Why? This is where your physio can help you to find out what's wrong with you. Okay, so we will check. If it's a medium nerve inflammation, we will find a way to help your inflammation. Either ask you to go and get my pharmacy medication or see a doctor for medication, vitamin B12, a vitamin B supplement for the nerve, or salumeric, which is an anti-inflammatory. And then, of course, we will teach you. And so, we teach you how to sit in the home Okay, we teach you how to stretch your nerve, etc. etc. Okay, which we're going to teach. Okay, that's why our topic today is five tips. Okay, we will give you five tips today. All right. Okay, next. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Five... Ben, I think there's another comment also. Sure. Okay, so uh, yeah. our live audience asked my mom after did the operation on the couple tunnel problem, but she still feels the numbness in the fingers. What should she do? So, okay, okay, so that's the most tricky, yeah? Uh, 
the operation already on a couple problems. Okay, but she still feel the numbness in the fingers. Now, what should she do? <laughs> okay, now number one, uh, how long already the operation was done? Okay, uh, if very recent, most likely the operation site. Ah, uh, never mind. So we wait for her to reply. But if it's very recent, <laughs> that means most likely the couple tunnel still inflamed because of the swelling and the operation. Okay, so if that case, you have to find a way to um to bring down the swelling first. Okay, ice pack will be good. A simple mobility with simple wrist movement is good instead of just keep on resting okay and then uh, number two what we can do is of course we will do what we did last time all right we will release her couple tunnel muscles okay to open up her mm -hmm. couple tunnel to open up her tunnel uh, if everyone remember we did a demo uh, to open up the open tunnel. Up like this. all right now of course yeah for this case we also will trace her middle nerve potentially she also she may also have the middle nerve problems yeah okay so despite the surgery, okay, her numbness still there. Either her compression is too bad or she also involves the whole entire middle nerve. Oh, so yeah. All right. So, oh, the operation was done one year ago. Operation, yeah. So if operation done one year ago, I will assume that maybe the swelling has gone down a little bit more. All right. I think she still can check if it's still very watery and sensitive at this spot. Uh, if this spot is still very watery and sensitive, right, she still can apply eyes. Okay. And then uh, she can do the exercise that we're going to teach today as well as the exercise that we prescribed last visit, uh, last life. All right. She, I think she better to start with that one first. Gentle, mm. gentle, uh, gentle. Okay. Do not overstretch because just operated one year ago. But gentle, the previous, which is the forearm stretch and the thumb stretch. Okay. She can start with these two and then find a way to get rid of the swelling first at the surgery part. Yeah. I think this will be my advice for her long, for time being. Okay. All right. She, she, yeah, she follow okay. the advice from the previous life first. Yeah. Okay. All right. So today we're going to talk about five tips. Five tips. Five tips. See. <laughs> okay. So five tips. Oh, what's the tips? Uh? So actually, very simple. The tips lay is uh, based on parts of your body. Okay. Parts of your body. Now let's see. Uh. Now nerve is here, right? Can see my nerve, ah? Uh? Okay, wrist and uh, wrist blood. So hey, can you see my nerve? Can you enlarge? Yes. Okay, the five tips very simple. How to remember? Tips number one. Where is the nerve? And the neck. Okay. Tips number one. How to loosen your neck? Tips number two. Okay. Chest. Okay. This is how the nerve pass, ma. The nerve run. So you just need to know where is the nerve. Tips number two. Chest. Okay. Tips number three. Your biceps. Okay. Tips number four, your wrist. Can you see right? And tips number five, your thumb. Okay? So five place, five places. Neck, chest, biceps, forearm, chest. and your thumb. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so the five places. Lah. So five tips is based on the nerve, how the nerve travel. Okay? So Let's go. What is the first tip? First tip. Okay, I think this tip you mentioned in our previous life also, yeah? First tip on the previous one. Stretch up. Yeah. Stretch out our forearm. Stretch the forearm. Can see that. Stretch forearm. Mm. Yes, stretch the forearm. Okay. Point, uh, more price, uh, wrist. Uh, fingers point downward and then pull it downward. So I think the patient or the client just now, right? The mom also can do this, huh? Despite the surgery, yeah. but do it gentle. Do it gentle. Okay. So downward and pull. Of course, some people like to do upward. Can I do upward or not? Can. Not an issue. Okay. But just trust me. Downward, you feel more, more um. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have more feeling. All right. So next. First, wrist long. Second, thumb loosening. This is also what we taught in the previous. Uh, this is what we taught in the previous life. Thumb. Okay, mm -hmm. why we say thumb? Because thumb is a important. Uh, if this is for selling ins insurance one, you know. Thumb is one you know. Uh, do with deal insurance. If you cut your thumb accidentally, Insurance pay you the most. Your thumb is the most important. 
useful finger. Mm. Yes, the most useful digit. Okay, so thumb is very important. Must protect your thumb. All right, and uh, just now there was a one lady complaint of the hand trigger finger, right? Thumb. Okay, the trigger finger one. Uh, maybe maybe can you can tag her. Uh? This is the exercise for her. Tip number two. This sure, is the sure. exercise for her. Uh, tip number two. Yes. Okay, now that's one. So, third one is chest. Let your nerve pass through your collarbone into your chest muscle. Now, this is the way to stretch your chest. You can just lean your hand on the wall, lean your hand on the wall, and then you just one step forward so that you can stretch out. Uh, so that you can stretch out your chest muscle. Or some people, they like to go to the door. Uh, they like to go to the door and stretch out their chest. At the end, you as long as you can feel the chest stretch, it's good enough. All right. I think yoga does a lot. Okay, but they, they lie down on their foam or their roller and then they try to open up mm -hmm. the chest. This then is just nice. Up, yeah. Very nice stretching. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because why? When you loosen your chest muscle, less compression on your middle nerve. Mm. Yes. Okay. So next. Yeah. Uh, Mister Ben. Uh. Yeah, I think yeah. from uh, our audience yes. earlier, the, our audience that asked about the pronator theories, uh, she asked, so if uh, you do the ULTT test, out of five times, only two times got symptoms. Uh -huh. Is it still considered positive? Yes. Hey, I can't hear you. Uh, uh, did you, do you want me to repeat the question? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, if if uh, do the ULTT test out of five times, mm. only two yeah. times got symptom. So is it still considered yeah. positive? Positive. As long as you got huh? symptom, Yes, yes. Mm. This ULTT is a very sensitive test. Very sensitive. I use mm. it a lot, a lot. Yeah, so even out of five times, you got two times, it's positive. Okay, I will, I will, ask, I will ask myself, well, A, how come out of the five, three is negative? Uh, did you do it wrongly or what? Uh, or you're not precise enough? Okay, mm -hmm. yes, so it's still considered as positive. All right, it's a very sensitive test, URTT. Yeah, okay. So right. our tip number one, forearm. Tips number two, thumb. Tips number three, chest. And now tips number four biceps okay so biceps and the chest stretch almost the same chest stretch i lift my hand 90 degree right i call it 90 degree mm -hmm. okay 90 degree like this biceps straight okay straight biceps okay 90 degree for my chest straight for my biceps okay all this stretching we always encourage to hold uh, 10 15 seconds hold for 10 to 15 seconds yeah all right now again, uh, some small clue, right? Some people when they stretch their biceps, uh, they may also feel their fingers are tingle. Uh. This is normal. Uh, this is normal because we are just stretched on the right muscles. Okay? So that's a bi 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 bicep stretch or tips number four. Okay, nah? okay hold for yeah. five, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. Always hold. Stretching is always hold. The purpose of stretching is trying to elongate the muscles. This is long so make the muscle okay make the muscle looser so they don't compress on the nerve all right next one next stretch okay last one next stretch okay now this one go back to just now the client right or the the audience who has the uh, morning stiffness both hands both one. Side. Uh. okay uh, hand stiffness one. Uh, mm. this is the best for her this is the best for her. Next Why? Stretch. Her problem definitely come from her neck already. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is the best stretch for her. Now, next stretch, I always have three. All right, one is armpit stretch. That means what? You look into your armpit and pull down. If those who have been following us, right, you also notice uh, when I, we treat jaw pain, we also teach you an armpit stretch. This is a very useful muscle. Okay, and it's a very useful stretching. Oh, armpit stretch. You look at your armpit, try to smell it. Okay, I'm be trying to smell it. If you've got smell, uh, then you smell longer. Okay, smell for how long I can? 
Smell for 15 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Smell for 15 seconds, okay? 15 seconds. All right, that's the first one. Armpit stretch. I call it armpit stretch. Number two, look down stretch. Look down means what? Look down long. Look See down. whether if your smell can strong enough until when you look down, so you can feel it or not. <laughs> uh, can you do that? Yeah. No smell, no smell. Oh, no smell, okay? That's the second one. And third one is a side bend. Okay? Mm-hmm. Side bend. So same thing, side bend, and then you should feel the opening. All right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay? Now, go back to Shu Hui. Shu Hui, just now you pointed, right? Hey, how about my, I do my next stretch? Okay? You are TT time. All right, now, guys, uh, imagine I have compression on my right hand. Okay, I have morning stiffness on my right hand. So now, if I do a neck stretch, right, should I bend to the right or left? Or should I bend to the right? Things should be to the right to compress it further. To, to compress it further. Now, to compress it further, uh, that one is to reproduce the numbness. Mm, mm. Uh, okay, so you should go opposite. Opposite. Uh-huh. If I have my hand numb on my right, my morning stiffness on my right, okay, mm. I will bend my head to my left to opposite so that I do decompression for my neck. Mm-hmm. Okay, you all get it? Uh, if I want to stretch, stretch means decompress. Ma. So oh, the stretch. Decompress. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, I will do compression. Okay? Ken? Yeah, so right. always remember okay. the opposite side of your symptoms. Yes, yes opposite symptoms. And then just now, the lady will ask, so, hey, I have both sides, how? Ah? Both sides, so. okay? Both sides only to stretch. <laughs> yeah, both sides only to stretch, look down, stretch, mm. also. Uh, mm. If I only have right, I go to opposite. That's better. Yes. Yes. I think one of our previous live, uh, we talked about neck stretching also. Ah. Uh, Yes, mm. yes. I think previous slide about migraine headache. Also, we talk about yes, this. yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So before we end, now, normally we go market right buy five free one ma. So today we got five tips. So Ben Physio would like to give one more additional tips. Okay. Five. One. Yeah, one tips. Okay, and this tips right is a very exclusive one because I call it nerve playing. Okay. Why you? Wiring in outside, okay, from TMB out is very high risk of problem. Okay, uh. so today, besides stretching your muscles, some people the nerves are so uh so intensely compressed already. Okay, you may may need this treatment. You may need this treatment. Okay. So now this is a nerve play. I use the word nerve playing lah because you have to play with the nerve. Okay, okay, can ah? Mm-hmm. So now the rational is because nerve is possible. So I'm not going to ask my stretch my nerve. Right, so, mm-hmm. so you do stretching ma. You want to elongate the muscle, but nerve yeah. cannot. Why you cannot elongate one? Ah, okay. So nerve is a non-stretchable. That's why we call it nerve play. You play with a nerve, and we glide the wire or we glide the nerve. Glide means what? Play, pull it here, pull it there, pull it here, pull it there. Okay, now I give you a very simple example. Okay, the picture number one first. We go to the picture number one. Okay, now everybody, yeah. So you, you go back to your lotus position. Just go back to your lotus position. Okay, so you slowly put your hands down until you feel the pulling. Up. Okay, positive muscles. Now someone uh, com- uh, mentioned that two out of five. So that's the best one. Okay. So you feel a pull already, right? Now what you do, okay? You can play with your wrist up and down. Okay, my wrist here. I can play with my wrist up and down. I don't I fix here, I fix here. I just play with my wrist up and down. So you will notice one thing. Uh, when you bring it down, you feel a lot more. When you bring it up, you feel less. Down, up, down, up. This is what we call nerve gliding or playing with the nerve. Okay? Can 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 get it, huh? So same mm-hmm. thing, lotus. I bring it down, and then I play with my wrist. Ah, uh, okay. So that I can have the feeling, a feeling of pull, nerve pull, feeling of letting go, feeling of pull and letting go. Okay. Now, mm-hmm. I can also do lotus position. Okay, lotus position. Bring hand wrist down. Uh, sorry, elbow slitten. 
and elbow bend again. Elbow straighten and elbow bend again. Also can. Okay, so I can play with my wrist. Okay, I also can play with my elbow. We call it play. Okay, now can I play with my neck? Yeah. Can. can I play? Can. Okay, so what I do, this is not shown by my, in, the, in the picture. Lock. So what I do, okay, this is my nerve. Ma. Okay, I can also play with my neck. Pull. Pull. Okay, Pull. go to the opposite side. Yeah. This is what we call neck guiding, okay? Or, or nerve playing. Okay? That's all. So this is how you play with your nerve. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, there are a few ways to play with it, okay? As long as you remember this position, lotus, straighten up your elbow. So you can play the number one, the wrist, number two, the elbow, and number three, the neck. Alright? Because every time when you play, you will feel something go in your fingers that's what you are looking at okay okay, okay. today five tips all right tips. five, five three one <laughs> yeah five five three one okay so last so what is the take home message today okay so what do you learn from the whole two cts carpal tunnel syndrome number one make sure you are well assessed when you see a physician mm -hmm. when you see a doctor or when you see a physio and make sure you have problem. Is you having no, or because you need to know what. Okay, and take home the um, uh, second message. Okay, middle nerve is not only at the wrist, it's along your neck. All message number two. Okay. It comes to the and lastly, it's last. Okay, last. So, couple tunnel. Sorry. Yep. So, couple tunnel syndrome should not be treated. Couple tunnel should not be treated. Your wrist deliver to our audience today. All right. Mm. Okay. So, whoever wants our slide, our slide today. They can have our slide, isn't it? Yes, yes. So if you want our slide, please uh comment slide over there, then our team will send the slide to you. Yeah. So I think uh take home message is quite clear today. So the first one, if you are okay, so I'll just uh, repeat again uh, what Mr. Ben just uh talked about. So when you're assessed, make uh make sure to really know that to confirm what is your diagnosis, if it is really CTS or not. Then the second one median nerve so it's not just the wrist not just the wrist problem like uh, i think for today's session mr ben talked about could be coming from the shoulder the neck the neck the armpit the chest the biceps the forearm so there are many parts of it to cts so there's actually quite a lot of components that we have to look at so we have to find where is the block okay Yep. That's why today also we share about, Mr. Ben also share about the five tips yep. and plus mm -hmm. one nerve guiding tips. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think so, Mr. Ben okay. just Can add to me a while. Yep, yep. I think that's all. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Okay. Ben. Suhei can hear me? Mm. Yes. yes can yeah, hear. Can hear. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's the uh, three messages. And uh, last, I think the last 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 slide. Okay, some announcement right for next week. The last slide. Yep. So everyone next week. Yeah. So for next Tuesday day. only we're having the women health topics instead of Monday, because Monday is a public holiday. Okay, so remember, next Thursday yep, only we have 11 June. Gong's birthday. Yeah, only so it's a holiday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Monday rest. Stay tuned to next Thursday, okay? 4 p.m. So next week, yep. Yep. <laughs> so, next week. 
Yes. Uh, in fact, okay. In fact, I just want to add on, right? The following topics will be about women's health. Mm. Okay, women's health. We will talk about core muscles. We will talk about pelvic floor for those who have incontinence. Okay, we'll talk about thumbs pain. We'll talk about hands pain. Okay, it's a it's a series of uh, women's health topics. Okay, so everyone feel free to uh, tag your friends, all right, to share the more information about women's health. Okay, we try our best to give tips and uh, buy five free one tips. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and the guy also should, should stay tuned to this topic also. <laughs> yes, and to, to yeah, do something you for know. your wife. Hey, maybe maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, I yeah. should have a, 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 a session, uh, teach the guys to do for the, for the wife. Huh? Yeah, yeah, can, can, sure. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. What is the question yeah. today? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Today's question, very simple. Okay. Today's question, very simple. I'm having five fingertips numbness. Okay. Five fingertips numbness or morning stiffness. Is it? The answer is yes or no, Nia. Is it carpal tunnel or it is not carpal tunnel? The answer is yes or no. I have five fingertips uh, numb or I have uh, morning stiffness. So is it carpal tunnel or it is not a carpal tunnel? Okay. Hmm. Very simple. You have to listen to the last, last of hours, last life or so. Mm. Not just okay, last, I about. think earlier, so we recap a little bit already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not three and a half hour, so it's mm. all so five. You, uh, all, five. five. Uh, yes. all five, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, Okay, so five. if you want a free gift for today, remember to tag three friends and then answer, give us the correct answer, okay? We'll be, we'll be watching. Yep. Oh, alama, today one yep, hour already. Like some comment already. <laughs> today quite yeah. uh, informative. So that's yeah. why it's a bit long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, more comments today. today. A lot of comments. Questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, quite yeah. a common. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, so in that case, maybe we also can introduce others. Huh? Uh, we also have an online consultation for this. Mm -hmm. uh, online consultation. Consultation with a online consultation is it, Mr. Ben? Yeah, Mr. Ben actually been doing, starting to be uh, uh doing conducting the online consultation already. Yep, mm -hmm. you can PM us more for the details. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I see a lot of people commenting already the answer, but yeah. remember all, you had three friends, okay? Three, okay. Had three friends. Three friends. The answer to don't forget. Is, oh, no. Don't forget. Don't forget three friends. <laughs> I think a lot of answers, I we see a lot of answers already, but we have to tag three friends, then we'll, you have a chance to win our free gift for today, okay? So once again, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ben, for today's... Uh, very yeah. informative sharing. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, both of you. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the sharing. Thank you for the sharing. Thank you for And thank yeah. you to our audience also for your comments and questions. Okay. Yeah. So see yep. you we all appreciate next it too. Thursday. Okay. Bye bye. All right. See you all. Bye.